Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and I just wanted to release a quick video regarding the Dorme Chimera. It's a new phase in the Relic Quest, and uh, it's required. It's a very early, early stage, right after you hand in your double melded weapon. You're going to have to fight this guy, and you probably want to do it with about eight people. You only need one tank, as many healers, DPS as you're comfortable with, whatever you need. Depending on what kind of jobs need the Relic and whatnot, you can really switch it up. You have a lot of options. This fight is replacing Ormvale and Cutter's Cry from 1.0 for any of you who are wondering where your progress might be saved, there's a good chance you won't need to fight this Chimera. So what does the Chimera do? Well, he's got a tail attack that poisons, as you can see. It does a few K damage also. He's got a Ram's Breath, which does ice damage and slows. He's got a Dragon's Breath, which does lightning damage and paralyzes. And he's got a Lion's Breath, which just does damage directly in front of him. On top of that, he has your basic attacks. Now, he only has, I suppose you could say, two phases to this fight. The first phase is going to start out just like this, where he will uh, just attack the tank and he'll do a few breath attacks. And uh, shortly after, he's going to start using moves called Dragon's Voice and Ram's Voice. Now, you'll see Dragon's Voice coming up right here. There it is. Dragon's Voice is a move that does lightning damage in a large area around the Chimera. However, in the immediate ring near him, it does not do any damage, so standing close to him can completely negate it for the entire fight. For this reason, I recommend standing between the dragon head and the tail like this with your entire raid. That way you can avoid the paralyze, you can avoid the lightning damage, you can avoid the tail attacks, you can avoid pretty much everything. And he also does Ram's Voice, which does ice damage to a, to a small area around him, unlike Dragon's Voice, and slows. So you don't want to get hit by either of these. They really really suck and to make things even worse uh, after about 75%, each one of his heads will take turn glowing, either the ram head or the chimera head. When uh, the ram head is glowing, ram's voice will pretty much cover the entire arena and do about 4k damage to everybody. So if you don't silence it, it will instantly kill your party. As you can see, as my bard, I just silenced it right there. As for dragon's voice being empowered, it just does a lot more damage. Uh, the range doesn't seem to increase and nothing else seems to change about it. But you still don't want to get hit by it when the dragon head is empowered. So, you're going to follow that pattern until about 50% when he'll then start summoning orbs and start spitting Ram's Keeper at you. At this point, every time he switches his heads, he will do one of two moves. He will either summon an orb that will follow one player, or he will, or he will do Ram's Keeper, which will summon an Ice Patch on the ground. Depending on which head he is switching to depends on the pattern of the moves he does. If the Ram Head is being activated, then he will do a Ram's Keeper, an Ice Patch, he'll do a Lightning Orb, and then he'll do another Ram's Keeper. If the Dragon Head is becoming empowered, he'll start off with an empowered orb, which will travel a lot faster, and he, then he will do one Ram's Keeper before continuing. In this time, he'll only do one voice attack, and it could be either Ram or Dragon's Voice. If it's Dragon's Voice, it's recommended just to stack on him, and if it's Ram's Voice, it's recommended even if the Dragon Head is the one that's empowered, that you just stun it so nobody has to take damage while they're standing in melee range. And other than that, it's really about just careful positioning and kiting him around while you deal the damage you do, silencing Ram's Voice, ignoring dragon's voice and having people run away from the lightning orbs and the ram's keeper every time you see a head switch you should preemptively run away from the boss as to avoid getting hit by ram's keeper you should try and avoid what i'm doing right here which is kind of standing near the tank in case the tank needs to drag him to a certain area also keep in mind that if the tank gets the orb as you can see right here let him run away take the orb hit take the paralyze and then reposition that way the entire raid doesn't have to get hit by the aoe of the orb Speaking of that orb, that orb seems to be a, a big problem for a lot of people. In order to avoid it, you really just need to, as you're moving out, look for a crosshair on you and also look on the threat list to see if you're red on it. That can usually help you help tell you whether or not you're in or out of range or if you're the target of the orb in the first place. You have a lot of area to kite this guy around, so if you're just careful, you, have, you make sure people aren't dying, then you shouldn't have a problem with this fight at all. Uh, keep in mind, though, that if you do get slowed by Ram's Keeper, Odds are you're going to get killed by the orb if you're also the target. So just be very, very careful in this fight. There are a lot of ways to die here. So other than that, though, it's a really simple fight. And I think that you can definitely pug this as long as you have a good silencer. One good bard is really all you need once you get to the second phase. Although having a paladin and a bard or two bards to alternate the silences really, really helps here. It just makes the fight really easy as long as people can move out of Ram's Keeper and the orbs. There isn't much more to say about this fight, guys. So I just want to say... Uh, I hope you have no problem with this fight, that you're well on your way to getting your relic after this. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV content. Also, uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Get regular updates. You can ask me questions about, you know, about uh, different jobs and character guides and certain aspects of the game. Feel free to tweet me a question or send me a personal message on Facebook. I sometimes takes me a while to get back to them, but I, I get back to them at some point. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, take care.